right? So what advice yeah. would you give to people who have that <coughs> goal that I want to make AAA games, I want to work for one of those big studios in India or abroad? See, I, I can give uh, advice as a programmer. Uh, I would say a path for a designer or an artist would be totally different. Fair enough. But as a programmer, something that people don't really concentrate on a lot is understanding the low-level programming. Right. In any AAA game uh, company, that's what they want from you. They don't want someone who can take Unity or Unreal and you know th that's definitely a good experience to have like they want you to be able to do that but that's not the only thing they want from you because like we talked about this like 10 minutes ago that it's easy to go online and learn unity and unreal th these days but what's difficult is to be able to understand the low level stuff like you know, how an engine actually works, mm -hmm. how how can you optimize a game? Right. The biggest thing in game industry is frames per second. Right. Every time you're working on physics or AI, you have limited number of frames you can do any calculation on. As an AI programmer, I remember uh, like our team of like, I was, uh, I just joined Sanzaru where I was working on AI for, uh, for uh, Marvel Powers United VR and the the lead would always be like why do we only get so less frames we need more frames to be able to compute this stuff but you know that's the truth of game industry so even though it's easy because if you're working on unreal or unity those engines take care of the optimizations mm -hmm. but those are not the engines that triple a uh, game studio is using they have their in in-house engines right they have their own proprietary want, software yeah exactly so you could and you are not always working on the gameplay right there are times if you're working on an in-house engine you have to jump into the engine and be able to figure out those issues so at that point if you don't know that you are not you're not useful right like right. Uh, you have to be able to solve a problem right from like whichever problem arises if it's to optimize the game you have to optimize the game if it's inside the engine you have to do that you have to there are times where you have to go down at the assembly level to understand what's going on and i i would i i have interviewed for studios which actually do ask you some assembly level stuff wow. in their interview <laughs> okay. yeah and it's it's crazy i was like who who uses assembly <laughs> no one knows assembly but their point was we want you to be able to understand because if you're working with us you will have to deal with that someday like it, it probably maybe never but you might have to so we want you to know this stuff so that's one of the most important thing as a programmer in game development you want to know the low level programming and i cannot stress it enough that you need to understand how a game engine works if you can program a game, game game engine from scratch you know that would that's the best thing on your resume because at that point you have understood what happens with the game because if you are programming a game engine you are writing physics ai sound uh low level file management and everything that a programmer needs to understand in a triple a studio 